Gucci. Welcome back to my channel. You got the sidekick Donna Jean in the background because guess what? It's a snow day. OMG, we got a lot of snow. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn and I'm coming at you with week two of the Walgreens newbie series. Super duper excited to share this one with you. If you're new and you just found the channel, I'm so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there so I can welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. I got a lot of great feedback from the first week of the newbie series, so hopefully this one will be as helpful as well. Uh, Y'all been cracking me up. Uh, Tanya sent me an email yesterday from Arkansas who's not used to getting snow and she's like you set your weather this way <laughs> she said all the stores were closed she couldn't even coupon <laughs> and my friend Steph sent me a picture from Texas uh which I know y'all Texans are not used to snow uh the picture she sent was quite funny because you could still see the grass through the snow and Donna Jean was like you can still see the grass I'm like yeah but the whole city shut down <laughs> Because y'all don't know what to do with the snow. Oh my gosh, I'm going to pop a little video up on the screen for you. We had to make poor Gus a little path. Well, when I say we, I mean the hubs. The hubs made Gus a little path because it's even too deep for him. He ran out this morning and came right back in. <laughs> I think we got about seven inches or something like that. It's We got a lot of snow. It's crazy. Ah, so anyways, you cannot see the grass through our snow at all. So I'm praying for any y'all that are not used to the snow. I'm used to the snow and I don't like it. But I know you guys don't have equipment and things like that to get your roads clear. Thank goodness Michigan does because we get dumped on often with the snow. All right, so we're going to start off week two of our newbie series. Um, I'm going to remind you once again... This is not about the deals. You could be watching this in the spring when there is no snow and wondering what the heck I'm talking about. The information is still valid. We don't care about the deals. The deals don't matter. Of course, I'm going to be showing you the deals that I'm doing. But again, if you're watching this months later, those deals are not probably going to be what's on sale or that what we have coupons for. So don't get tripped up with that. It doesn't matter what coupons I have versus what coupons you have. I'm giving you foundational information to help you make your Walgreens couponing more seamless. And as I have shouted her out so many times on this channel because I am forever grateful for her, I got my start at, at uh, drugstore couponing with Walgreens. And Thank goodness I found Michelle from my own identity. She was the only channel that I happened upon at that time that explained how to do certain things at Walgreens that other channels were telling me that I couldn't do. And she is truly where I learned how to get a low out of pocket at Walgreens and where I fell in love with Walgreens couponing. So she is absolutely fantastic at Walgreens. If you're not following her, I highly recommend you go check her channel out. She has taught me so much about Walgreens. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to head in store. We're gonna see what we're gonna pick up today. And then we will, of course, debrief at the kitchen table. I'm gonna show you my receipts and we'll go over the deals. And remember our focus is building up Walgreens cash as much as we can. There are some weeks where the register reward deals are just way more than the points deals or the Walgreens cash deals. Um, one thing that I probably will not go over in this series because I have already gone over it so in depth is how to use Walgreens cash on a spend deal and still get your Walgreens cash back and what spend deals are excluded. That link is in the description box with the Walgreens playlist. I will put all of this Walgreens uh, newbie series in that playlist as well. So you can go back and reference it anytime you need to. And also, if you think it would be helpful, feel free to share this with anybody. But highly recommend you go check out that video that explains how to get a much lower out of pocket at Walgreens by using Walgreens Cash, which I did call points because that's what it was called then. 
on a spend deal and still earning your Walgreens cash back. Of course, in this series, we're not necessarily focused on low out of pocket because whenever you start drugstore couponing, you have to make a cash investment to building up your rewards. All right, so let's head to the kitchen table. We're gonna go, or let's head into the store. Then we're gonna go over our receipts at the kitchen table and then we're gonna dive way deep into register rewards. Woo! All right, we're in the Walgreens, getting ready to start off our week two. And again, our focus is building up our Walgreens cash. But there is an amazing deal that we just cannot let pass by that is giving back a register reward and also some awesome or an awesome Ibotta rebate, which is on the Bic Razors. They are on sale for $5.99. And when you purchase one, you earn back a $3 register reward. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase two today and I will still only get back one $3 register reward because it is one register reward per deal, per transaction. So these two total $11.98. I have a $3 digital coupon on the app and I Googled Bic Razor coupon, found the link and printed this other $3 paper coupon. That'll bring me down to $5.98. I'll earn back a $3 register reward and submit my receipt to Ibotta for $6 back making the razors free plus a 302 money maker. All right, on Sunday when I did my first haul, I recorded this so I could show you how to scan products in the app. So you're gonna click on the bottom where it says shop and save, and then right in the upper right-hand corner, there's a little magnifying glass. Click on that. It'll bring this screen up, and you're gonna click on the barcode symbol that was up in the right corner. Here's my Bic Soleil. I'm gonna scan the product. And it's going to bring the product up and it's also going to tell me if it's on sale or anything like that. And if I scroll down, it will show me any available coupons. And if I click on learn more under the available coupon, it will actually bring the coupon up to tell me like the value or how many I have to buy or anything like that. So that's how you know if a coupon is going to attach. All right, let's work on building up some Walgreens cash. So we got a great promotion this week on the Dove products. The Women's Dove is priced at $4.99 in my store. It is buy one, get one 50% off, and it is buy three, earn back $3 in Walgreens cash. So in all multiples of three, you will earn back $3 in Walgreens cash. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up uh, two shampoos and two conditioners. So I'm picking up four products. I'm going to do all digital with this deal. So I have a $3 off two digital coupon, and then I have a $1 off one digital coupon. For extra savings, instead of the $1 off one, use the $2 off two paper coupon if you have it. I was just keeping this all digital. The Dove Men products are also included in our buy one, get one half price. So you could grab those if you wanted. We do have $2 insert coupons. I'm gonna go with the Axe because I hardly ever get the Axe two-in-one shampoos. So I'm gonna grab two of these. They are part of the same deal. So now I have six products and we'll earn back $6 in Walgreens cash. The Axe is not buy one, get one half price. I switched it out for the other one. So now I have a two-in-one and a three-in-one. And we have a digital coupon for $5.99 off two Axe products. Such a great digital. So for these six products, I'm at $24.95. After my three digitals come up, that'll bring me down to $14.96, earning back $6 in Walgreens cash. That would be a cost of $1.49 each, but we're gonna add some spend boosters to this transaction to make it amazing. All right, this is totally optional. I decided to grab this, but you do not need to grab this. It is a little money maker, and it will make our out of pocket a little bit higher, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So the Crest mouthwash is on sale for $3.99 each, and when you buy two, you earn back a $4.50 $4 register reward. So these two will total me $7.98. I have a digital coupon for $3 off of two. That'll bring me down to $4.98. I'll earn back a $4.50 register reward and a dollar each for these specific mouthwashes from Ibotta, making these free plus a $1.52 moneymaker. So I'm gonna use this Catalina booster that we earned last week when we did our transaction for spend 30, earn $6 in Walgreens cash. 
In addition, on the app, I also have a spend 20, earn $5 in Walgreens cash, which will stack with this deal. So our total for all of these products is $44.91, which is why I said you didn't have to add in the crust. You don't actually need those. Without the crust, it would bring it down to about $36. And I totally forgot, we also have $1 Ibotta rebates on the Dove Hair Care. So just for this transaction, we're looking to get back $12 in cash from Ibotta which is awesome. But after our one printed paper coupon and all of our digitals come off, we should be left to pay around $25. And after all rewards come back, this is going to be over a $10 money maker. One thing I want to remind you that I did cover in the first um, video of this series. I told you that if you scan products on the app, that's how you'll know they attach. If you have one of those only for you, a lot of times those do not attach on the app. That does not mean they are not coming off. If you haven't watched week one's video, go ahead and check that out. And then fun fact I wanted to share with you. This account also has a thank you spend booster for spend 25, earn $5 in Walgreens cash. That thank you booster is coded the same way as this paper booster is. So the paper booster and that thank you booster will not stack. However, the paper booster will stack with the weekly spend booster I received of spend 20, earn $5 in Walgreens cash. Or if I was not using a paper booster, the thank you booster of spend 25, earn $5 in Walgreens cash would stack along with the weekly spend booster of spend 20, earn $5 in Walgreens cash. But just as the paper booster is coded so that you cannot use any Walgreens cash to pay, so are the thank you boosters. So I know that was a whole lot. <laughs> if you have questions, let me know, but hopefully that makes sense. One deal to stay away from in store, the Febreze warmers, which my store doesn't even have, if they ring up for $2.99 on sale this week, your $3 digital coupon will not come off because Walgreens will not allow a coupon to be more than the product price. So even though it's only one cents, it's still not gonna come off. So don't get frustrated with that. You could actually do that through pickup order if your store has it and the coupon will adjust down, but they will not adjust down in the store. All right, I said I wasn't gonna do this, but we're totally gonna do this because we did so good on our first transaction. We're gonna do one more transaction. Uh, we're gonna do the Charmin and Bounty deal. They are on sale for $4.99 each. And when you buy four, you earn back a $6 register reward. So we are gonna use a little bit of our Walgreens cash that we earned. So I'm gonna pick up two of the toilet papers and then I'm gonna pick up two of the paper towels. So these four are gonna total me $19.96. Again, this is totally optional, just like the mouthwash deal. Do not feel like you have to do this. I just thought this was a great item and something that we are all in need of. If you can stock up on paper products, I always think it's a good idea. So we have no coupons for these. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use register rewards. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the $5 register reward that we earned last week. And then this week in my first transaction, we earned a $4.50 register reward for the Crest mouthwash. And then we earned a $3 register reward for the BIC. So I'm gonna use all three of these in this transaction to lower my out of pocket. And then I'll use a little bit of Walgreens cash to pay. And then that should give us a $6 register reward. All right, let's head to the kitchen table and see how week two went, and we are going to dive deep into register rewards. There he is coming down his path. <laughs> All right, so we are back at the kitchen table with our second week of our newbie series for Walgreens. I am so excited about this haul. I think we did 
amazing. So in our first transaction, we picked up the Four Dove Hair Care, the Axe Hair Care, the uh, Crest Mouthwash, and two of the Big Soleil's. So we were focusing on not only building up points for this haul, but also um, Ibotta rebates. We got a lot of Ibotta rebates, which really helps offset the cash that we have to pay because we are making an investment into our Walgreens drugstore couponing, which means we have to pay some cash out of pocket until we build up our rewards. So let's take a look at our receipt. And I basically went completely digital. Anybody can do this deal because they only used one paper coupon and it was a printable coupon off of the BIC website. I Googled BIC Razor Coupon. A link came up and I printed it. So if you have access to a printer, anybody can do this deal. So here are my Dove. They rang up at buy one, get one half price. So I got four of them. And remember this promotion is buy three, earn $3 in Walgreens cash. For every three that you buy, you will earn $3 in Walgreens cash. There is no limit. There's my two Bic Soleil's at $5.99 each. There's my Crest for $3.99, my other Crest mouthwash for $3.99, and there's both of my Axe for $4.99 each. They are on the same promotion as the Dove, but they're just not buy one, get one half price. I was going to go with the Dove Men Hair Care, but um, it worked out better because of the digital coupon for the Axe products. Uh, so had the cashier scan the points booster that I showed you in the store, the one that we got last week for spend 30, earn 10, handed over my one paper coupon for $3 off the BIC. My digital for the Axe came off for $5.99. My digital for the Crest came off. My digital for the Dove came off. My digital for the BIC came off. And my second digital for the Dove came off. So my subtotal was $25.91. Of course, I used my PayPal debit card, but you will have to pay cash out of pocket because whenever we're working with those spend boosters that print from the Catalina machine, as I have said in so many videos, you cannot use Walgreens cash with those and still earn Walgreens cash back. I earned back $17.44 in Walgreens cash. So we started last week out with $4. We ended at 22 and now we have $40 in Walgreens cash. How amazing is that? So we earned $6 in Walgreens cash for spending 30, that paper booster. $5 in Walgreens cash for spending 20, which was the digital weekly booster that I had received. The paper and the digital will stack. And then uh, $6 because we bought six of the participating products that give back $3 in Walgreens cash when you buy three. We also earned back a $4.50 register reward for the Crest, and we earned a $3 register reward for the BIC. I submitted my receipt to Ibotta, got $6 back from the BIC, $4 back from the Dove, and $2 back from the Crest. So we paid $25.91. We got $12 back in cash from Ibotta, which is awesome. So this transaction was amazing. How it worked out, we paid $25.91. We earned $17 back in, in um, Walgreens cash. We earned a $3 register reward, a $4.50 register reward, and $12 back from Ibotta. It all worked out to be free plus a $10.59 moneymaker. How awesome is that? Now, as I said, the crest was totally optional. We did not need it to get our total up and we were not getting any Walgreens cash back from it. I did decide to add that because I knew it would help increase the amount of money we were making and give us an extra register reward. But if you didn't want to spend that much cash, totally get it. Take the two crest off. Your total after coupons 
would be $20.93. So you'd save yourself about $5. You'd still earn the $17 in Walgreens cash back if you had all the same coupons as me. You would earn a $3 register reward for the BIC, $6 from Ibotta for the BIC, and $4 back from Ibotta for the Dove. So you would pay 20, you would earn 10 back from Ibotta, but everything would work out to be a $9.07 moneymaker without the crest. All right, now last week I told you I wasn't gonna spend any Walgreens cash this week and I totally decided to do that <laughs> because this paper deal just doesn't come, it actually was here two weeks ago, but it doesn't come around all that often. And I found another store close by that had um, products. So I decided to go ahead and do that. And I used all of my register rewards to pay for that. I showed you that in the store. Now I did have a little hiccup with this transaction and I don't love that I had a hiccup with it, but I'm glad I did because I can show you what to do if this ever happens to you. So all I did in the second transaction was I picked up the four paper products. I feel like this is an awesome, awesome deal. And there is not one of us that doesn't have a need for paper products. You may not have an immediate need, you may have a little bit of stock, but paper products are so consumable and we go through them quickly that it's just a great way to use all the money we made here and stock up on this. I was gonna do the Revlon Kiss Balms and make the haul even a little bit higher of a moneymaker, but this is just way more practical. And again, it's totally optional. You don't have to add this to your transaction. And you may be watching this four months after the fact and these deals are not even going on. So again, the deals don't matter. We're talking about foundation here. So I picked up the four products. They were on sale for $4.99 each. There's my two Bounty and my two Charmin. I used the $5 register reward that we earned last week. Then I earned the $3 or used the $3 register reward that we just earned from the BIC and the $4.50 that we just earned from the Crest. My subtotal was $7.46. So I did go ahead and use $5 in Walgreens cash and I paid a subtotal of $2.46. The hiccup I had is my register reward did not print. And this store that I went to, I have never had a problem with my register rewards, not ever. This store that I did this transaction in had lots of problems with register rewards not printing. This store never had an issue. If your register reward doesn't print, it's probably because their Catalina machine is down. Yes, we would all love everything to go perfect, but systems go down, computers go down. Maybe the Catalina company was offline at the time of night that I did this transaction because I actually went on Sunday night to do this transaction. So it could be a whole bunch of stuff. Here's what I never do is I never leave the store without my money, ever. So I said to the cashier, I was supposed to get a $6 register reward for this. So we walked right over to the paper aisle. This cashier is actually fantastic. She's my absolute favorite. And we looked at the sign and she goes, that's so weird. And I said, I know, like your guys' machine always works. So she called the manager over and the manager came over and verified that I bought the products that were tagged, which I did. These are actually the exact same products that I bought in my regular Sunday Walgreens haul that I did get the $6 register reward. And she went ahead and issued me $5 in Walgreens cash and then another $1. They can't do a $6 option, so she had to do it twice. So she issued me $6 in Walgreens cash, which I'm perfectly fine with that. I would love to go into next week with a register reward, but she issued me the Walgreens cash instead, which is good for a year, so I'm fine with that. I will leave a link in the description box. You can always submit a receipt or submit a ticket basically or request to the actual Catalina company. I've done that a few times. Only one time did I have an issue where they denied my request. Every other time they've mailed me my register reward. Now I know some people will say um, they got the Walgreens cash back and they're gonna submit for the register reward. I'm not gonna do that because that's double dipping to me. 
they they were nice enough to issue me the Walgreens cash. I would just feel bad to then contact the Catalina company. You do what you're comfortable with. They gave me the Walgreens cash, so I'm fine with that. So we started today off with $22.91, and we are ending this week with $41.49. It should have been $35.49 and a $6 register reward, but it all works out the same. So we now have $41.49 in Walgreens cash. How fantastic is that? So this transaction right here was $19.96, even though I used Walgreens rewards to pay for it. We earned back a $6 register reward, which would make my cost $13.96 for all four packs, but we had a $10.59 moneymaker. So all of this stuff ended up being a cost of $3.37. For four packages of Charmin and Bounty, I am so good with that. And again, totally optional. Don't, if you don't want to do that and you don't want to pay the extra cash, don't go. Just stop at this transaction. If you're following along, if you're watching this months later when the deals aren't valid anyways, then you're going to make your own deals based on what's available for you. All right, let's dive into some register reward talk. Okay, let's dive into these register rewards. I get a ton of questions on register rewards. And one thing that I want you to remember is don't overcomplicate this. Let's take a look at a register reward. It literally says on it, manufacture coupon. This register reward is a non-product specific manufacture coupon. At Walgreens, Walgreens goes by line limits that I'm going to explain to you. A manufacture coupon has to have a product attached to it. So I get questions all the time, can I use register rewards? If you can use a manufacture coupon on a product, then you can use a register reward because it, it, it is literally a manufacture coupon, non-product specific, okay? So don't make this more complicated than it has to be. It is a manufacture coupon. I also get questions which this may seem like basic information to you, but because I get this question often, I'm going to cover it. Um, I get people asking, can I use a digital manufacturer coupon? Because 95% of the coupons in your coupon folder on your app are manufacturer coupons. They say manufacturer coupons right on them. Can I use that with a paper coupon? No, you cannot. You can only use one manufacturer coupon per product. You would not buy two Dove hair care and hand over two manufacturer coupons, just like you can't use a manufacturer coupon is a manufacturer coupon. It doesn't matter what form it comes in, whether it is an insert, whether you print it from coupons.com, whether it is digital, or whether it is a register reward. They're all manufacturer coupons, okay? So hopefully that clears that up. So anytime you can use a manufacturer coupon on a product, you can use a register reward. These are great to add in to items you do not have actual manufacturer coupons for. Here is the magical thing about register rewards. And real quick, I'll go over this again. I went over it in my first video. When these print off from the Catalina, they are not account specific. They can be used on any account. You could find these in the parking lot. You could find these in a cart. You could find these in the store and pick it up and give it a home. They are not linked to any account. Nothing that prints from the Catalina machine is linked to any specific account. Here's the super cool thing with register rewards that you can do to help lower your out of pocket. We have two Dove products here. I have this $2 off two Dove Care product. Because Walgreens works off of line limits, means every product gets its own line. This $2 off two will attach to this one product only. And now I can use a register reward because it is non-product specific on this other Dove to lower my out of pocket. How freaking cool is that? This register reward will also attach to a free item. If the Dove happened to be buy one, get one free, it will attach because Walgreens, that's how their line limits work. Now, 
you may have a cashier that says you can't use a coupon on a free item. If that's the case, you have to follow your store's rules. I would go ahead and add in a 50 cent piece of candy then in that circumstance and use my register reward to attach to. Register rewards will also attach to products that are higher value than the product as long as the total in your basket does not exceed the amount. So this is how we can use register rewards to get a much lower out of pocket. Now, as I said, Walgreens has line limits. What that means is every product needs to be scanned individually. I bought two Bic razors. They were the exact same razors. Do not let the cashier scan one and then type at two. It looks exactly the same on your receipt as when they do that or when they don't do that, but I promise you what will happen is if I was purchasing two Bic razors in one transaction, the cashier scanned one and typed at two, that's only going to be one line limit now. And if I try to use two coupons, the second coupon won't work because the system only sees one line limit for one coupon to attach to, okay? Now here's where a lot of people get tripped up with register rewards. Register rewards do not play well with digital coupons because you cannot tell the system that you want this $3 register reward to attach to your BIC. Let's say you have coupons for everything else and you want it to attach to your BIC. You can't tell the system to do that. Neither can the cashier. So this $3 register reward, once it's scanned, may just go ahead and attach to your crest. It decided it wanted to attach there. Now what's gonna happen is your digital coupon will not come off for the crest. I see people struggling with this all of the time. And as I always say, when you know better, you can do better. This is why I do not, it is a very rare occasion that I will use a register reward when I am planning on digital coupons to come off because I know my register reward might attach to a product I have a digital coupon for, then my digital coupon is not coming off. Yes, I wish the system worked different, but it doesn't. It's just like anything in life. We want it to work the way we want it to work, <laughs> but that's not reality. When we know how the system works, we can do our deals better. I kind of chuckle to myself because I see people struggling with this over and over on YouTube videos and literally complaining that it's Walgreens system. Well, you know how Walgreens system works. And that's the part that cracks me up is they know it can happen, but they still get upset when it does happen. You know that this can happen, so adjust your transactions. If you want easy, simple, Life, don't do couponing. <laughs> and don't do couponing at Walgreens. As I told you in week one, if you are looking for simple where you want everything to work the way you think it should work, Walgreens is not the place for you. But if you love Walgreens or you want to learn Walgreens, I'm gonna teach you how to work around that. So when I am working with digital coupons, it is a rare occasion that I will actually use a register reward. And if I do decide, then I know that is a gamble I am taking that a digital coupon will not come off because I know how their system works. And what I will not do is use multiple register rewards when I'm wanting digital coupons to come off because inevitably it will screw it up. I have tried scanning all different ways. Scanning in the beginning, sometimes that works, and then your register rewards will attach. I've tried scanning in the middle. I've tried scanning in the end. 75% of the time, my register reward is going to attach to something that I have a digital coupon for, then my digital coupon is not going to come off. So now that you know that, you can chuckle as well when you watch those videos where people are like, it's Walgreens system, it's always screwed up. No, it's that you don't want to accept the way their system works and adjust your transactions. So you're going to have this issue every single time if you keep doing the same thing over and over. Isn't that the definition of insanity? You do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. You're not going to get a different result. This is how their system works. So non-product specific manufacturer coupon not attached to any um, account, so it can be used on any account. 
and it will attach to a line limit even if that line limit is lower than the value as long as your products total don't exceed the value of all your coupons. Now, one other thing with register rewards is they will not roll within the same sales week on the same promotion. So if I go buy a Big Soleil this week and I earn back a $3 register reward and then I decide to go back and purchase another Big Soleil because that's the other cool thing about Walgreens is the deals are not limited. You can go ahead and do this 100 times if you wanted to as long as they are in separate transactions and earn $103 register rewards. I don't know why you would do that, but you could. If I buy another one and I pay using the register reward that I earned in the same sales week, I will not get another $3 register reward. However, if BIC is on promotion next week and it is giving back a $3 register reward again, I can use the register reward I earned in this week next week to pay for this and still earn back another register reward. I can go ahead and use the $3 BIC register reward that I earned from BIC and buy Crest and I'll get my Crest register reward. I can go ahead and use my Crest register reward and buy BIC and I'll get my BIC register reward. You just cannot roll within the same sales week for the same deal. And you can do multiple register reward deals in one transaction as long as they are separate deals. So I purchased both of these together in the same transaction and I did get two register rewards because they were different promotions, okay? And it doesn't even matter if it's the same manufacturer. If I was purchasing these two crests that were on promotion, for giving me back a $4.50 register reward, and let's say there was another crest deal for different products that was giving back a $6 register reward, I can purchase both in the same transactions because they are separate deals. All right, I hope that answers all the questions about register rewards. If I didn't answer a question on register rewards, feel free to leave it down in the comments and I can further explain. And it might be something that if I forgot, I can put into week three's video. All right, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much and I'm gonna see you again soon.